Hey everyone, it is Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very special video, or videos, that A, comes with a home screen setup that looks amazing, and B, notification counts within Tasker. I know, it's finally here, and I've set up that notification counts within Tasker in a separate video, just to make your lives a whole lot easier when you just want to go back and just watch that video. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's new home screen setup. Great everyone, so in this video I'll be teaching you guys how to set up everything in this home screen excluding the task of variables and I'll get to that in the second video. But having a closer look at this home screen, it is incredible. It is titled Glass by the author 21 Marco 12 and he's gone for that clean professional look that looks amazing. It's got your custom notification bar at the top there, your weather info on this amazing glassy rain background there that looks really amazing and it flows through throughout the entire theme. You've got all your notifications here for your missed calls, your messages, as well as your email, as well as your agenda, your phone system information, your jump to shortcuts, and last but not least, a neat little you really like to design music player over here that as you can see, if you push play, will start playing whatever music you currently have on your phone. So if you'd like to know how to set up this amazing home screen, then let us begin with today's new video. Great, so before you begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So starting off with the apps that you'll be needing, a good old custom launcher. I'm using Nova for this very setup. You are welcome to use Thema as it comes with a Thema file that you can just pretty much one click and apply and it's done for you. But other than that, any other launcher such as Apex SS Launcher will also do just as well. Next up, Media Utilities. If you want to get that music playing at the bottom, that's the app that you'll be needing. Next up will be Zoop Widget Pro and you need the Pro version in order to import your custom templates. But we'll get to that later on. And last but not least will be a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer as it's free and it's very easy to use. So that's the apps that you'll be needing. Of course, if you want to get in the custom notification count, then you will be needing Tasker, but that'll be covered in the second video. So carrying on, we're going to open up our file explorer now. Next up, you want to check in the link in the description below. It comes with a link that comes with all the files that are needed. It is a zip file. You just need to download it either onto your computer or directly onto your phone, where you can then extract it using, say, this various file extraction software. So once you have that folder onto your phone, you can see it comes with three files, your Zoopa widget files, as well as the wallpaper. So all we need to do now is to copy these Zoopa widget files and we can select both by holding in one, selecting the other one like that, and then selecting copy or cut, whatever you want. But you wanna get into your main SD card directory and you wanna scroll all the way to the bottom and you wanna look for the Zoopa widget folder, whereby you wanna go into your templates and you wanna select paste. And this is gonna now paste those two Zupa widget templates into the Zupa widget template folder quick and simple like that that's all the background setup for your files next up we want to jump into our media utilities i'm going to go a bit fast here because it's quite easy to do you just want to go into your settings either at the top overflow icon there or at the bottom if you say using a samsung device you want to go into your settings you want to make sure that everything is ticked here under application integration but the most important one here will be Zupa, of course because we'll be using Zupa widget for this very setup. Then beneath that, you just wanna make sure that all of these are enabled, your alternative data collection, attempt direct control, make cover art available, and send song progress, or just always have those enabled, makes your job a whole lot easier. So that is all the apps that you'll be needing, and that's the media utility setup done. So once that's done, we just wanna minimize everything, and we're gonna start by customizing our Nova Launcher setup. Great, so moving on to the Nova Launcher setup, we want to simply hold down on the home screen and select that little wrench there at the top that'll bring us into our Nova Launcher settings. From here, we want to jump into our desktop and then into our desktop grid. And we want to make sure that a 12 by 11, 12 rows, 11 columns is enabled as that makes everything fit quite well. And if not, then you might have to change up that grid size slightly. Your margins, you want to be on none. Shadows off, home screens, you're only going to be having one home screen. So you can leave pretty much the rest blank. You just want to scroll a bit more down and make sure that widget overlap and overlap when placing is always enabled as it just makes your job again a whole lot easier. From here you want to jump into your look and feel as we do want to have that notification bar disabled and transparent notification bar that's up to you but yeah make sure that that notification bar is disabled because we are obviously going to be having in our own awesome custom one. Other than that, just make sure that the dock is disabled, then you're good to go. So once that's done, you just want to change the wallpaper. You're going to simply hold down on the home screen, 
select wallpapers remember we now copied it onto our phone so if you just go into our gallery or your preferred gallery app you want to then look for the glass home folder and of course it is pretty much almost black I think it is black not too sure but you don't have to resize it or anything because it's all just one color so if you then select OK it will set up that wallpaper for you everything's done make sure that it's completely blank if you have any apps or icons remember to remove them as now we are ready to add in our Zupo widgets Great, so moving on to our Zupa widget setup, we're going to hold down on the home screen, select widgets right now. You just want to scroll all the way to the bottom, you want to select Zupa widget pro. Doesn't matter what size you're going to go for, we're going to start off with the top, um, I guess you could call it weather widget. Uh, select whichever one you want because you're going to be dragging it into the top corner and then just resizing it accordingly. Now just to make your guys lives a whole lot easier it is actually seven rows down and that's the heights I guess of the widget so if you go one two three four five six seven like that so remember it's seven down and it'll just make your resizing a whole lot easier so I'm just going to tap away tap onto the widget now this brings up the zip widget configuration we can now jump into our SD card because remember that's where we've saved our template on the phone so we just need to wait for it to load up the bajillion templates I have on this phone and you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to look for the one that's got the weather one here it's just called glass notification widget so I'm gonna select that now remember if the resizing doesn't look too good even with mine I had to resize this background wallpaper I have no idea why even if I made it a six rows down it also didn't look good at all so if you go into your layout right now you can of course change the wallpaper but I'm just going to be resizing it so this first module here is the wallpaper quite handy we're going to scroll a bit more down remember if you have no idea how to use Zupa widget this is the first time you that you are looking at it then you want to check in the link in the description below it comes with a complete guide to Zupa widget making your lives a whole lot easier so I'm just going to increase that scale make it a lot bigger so I think that looks pretty good you can just scroll back now remember of course if you want to change the jump to shortcuts then you can of course do this within the layout say of course you want to change what your email icon opens then we're going to go to our mail icon that is the mail icon and the author has just replaced the icon with text or text font glyph or glyph or however you want to call it just making the quality a whole lot better but more information on that check the link in the description below so of course you just want to change that module on tap action it's been set to gmail but you can of course change it to whatever other application that you would want so just keep that in mind as we go back now and see what this looks like i think that looks a whole lot better and of course you just want to add in the bottom widget now because we are almost done we're going to scroll down super widget pro remember any size i didn't even look that time and you just want to resize it so that it takes up the bottom or the rest of this page so tapping back tapping again so then going back into your SD card templates here you want to scroll all the way again to the bottom and you want to look for this one here titled glass info widget so everything should look pretty good as you can see it's probably just loading up a bit now so that looks pretty good for some reason this bottom bar also wasn't correctly sized I'm not too sure why there was a slight gap so I just had to change the bottom bar going into its module scrolling a bit more down and then just bumping up the width just made it look a whole lot better so it's going to back out of everything remember you also want to change the layout or change your widget on tap actions for each one of the modules that you currently see before you just so that you can open up your preferred say calendar so you don't complain that when you select calendar nothing happens you have to set that up on your own great so that is pretty much this home screen complete if you don't want to worry about setting up Tasker and you have no interest in it whatsoever then you just want to go back into this top notification zoop widget here you want to scroll a bit more down now going into your messages there are messages module here and you want to scroll a bit more down again if you go into your edit text manually you can see that it's been set up to display my Google Hangouts notification which is currently set at zero but of course if you're not worried about that you can want to go into your system which will bring up whatever you want right here so then of course if you just want to display your unread SMS's then you can just erase all of this altogether and then you can just replace it by selecting SU SMS and then selecting the tick button and that will now rather display your how many counts that you have of course now you have to change everything else and this includes your messages counter background that little red one there 
if you scroll a bit down and you go into your advanced parameters remember it's been set as t hang which is your task variable for your hangouts again you want to just replace the t hang with s u s m s which will just rather display that if you have an sms it'll then go red and look all nice and pretty and once you have everything sorted the way that you would want you just want to go back out of everything into your main widget settings you want to go to your widget on tap action and you want to set that into your default so you're disabled so if i select disabled like that go back out of everything that means that if i tap around like this nothing will happen which is good because you don't always want to bring up your widget configuration just like that so like i said you want to check in the description i've typed this all out making it a whole lot easier to comprehend but other than that, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Of course, the Zupa Tasker video is coming up next, so you just want to click over here if you want to jump right to it. But other than that, it is Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.